and continue what we were doing before with the rebounding shit. So make sure you guys are back on a line again so we can continue the rest of the training. So on a line. Oh, we still continue firing. You guys have that dispersion again. Excellent. Good, good, good. All right, so next up, we're going to be doing another rebounding tactic. Let's say, for instance, there are contacts in front of us to the east. They are, in fact, moving, which they normally do. Let's say the contacts are moving south, are moving southbound. In order for us to make sure that we maintain fire, superior, fire superiority on those targets, we need to keep moving. To do that, we're going to rebound formation while on a line. So let's say the fire tenuter calls rebound from the left. What's going to happen is the person who's the furthest on the left side of the formation, which would be Kurt, is going to go behind the line, not in front of it. You don't want to get in front of people in their kill zones. He's going to go behind the line all the way to the other side of the formation. He's going to say set. That indicates to Wells that he's going to get up. He's going to move to the other side of the formation uh, and then say set as well. Nathan's next and then uh, the spade. You're going to keep doing this until your squad, uh, till your fire team leader tells you to stop. While you are moving to the other side, you are uh, allowed to slightly shift yourself facing more to the south so you can keep eyes on the target. Any questions, comments, or concerns so far? No gunny. No gunny. Nope. No Outstanding. Gunny. Okay, so make sure you guys are in crouching and are prone position because we are taking contact and you don't want to be standing up as a larger target. Okay? So. All right, fire team, we're going to be rebounding to the right of the formation. Kurt, go ahead. Stay moving. Make sure that everybody knows that you are moving, Kirk. Behind us. Hi. That you're good, Wells. Go, go, go. You can say set over the radio. Set. Moving. Set. Moving. Excellent. Hold formation. Okay, so um, uh, that's how you keep up with contacts that are moving while you're on the line formation. Now, I'm assuming I don't need to go over basic formations like wedge, firing lines, stagger columns. Do I need to go over those? anybody or they're not familiar with any of these no yes no gunny no gunny we don't need to go over it excellent okay so i always hate going over that shit it's really tedious and annoying all right so let's see what we need okay a quick lesson for urban warfare which is really important because we're always in towns and shit like that okay who here does not know what pulling security means? I don't. You don't? Okay, so pulling security is very important and we use it all the fucking time. So let's say we're on patrol or we're in an urban environment. When we are, in fact, stopping in a combat situation, you always, always want to be posting security, which is, in fact, getting on your knees or crouching or finding cover and just waiting for contacts to show up. You're always on alert. You pick a kill zone, you stay there, and you man it. Until your fire team leader ha uh, basically says, okay, fire team, we're moving out. Pack your shit up. Then you move with the rest of the fire team. Every time you stop, especially in a combat situation, you always post security. Do not just stand there with your dick hanging out. You don't do that shit. Okay, so this is what we're going to do real quick. Uh, we're going to everybody up real Everybody up. Also happens up. quite a bit when, uh, when you're yeah, getting out of vehicles like Pelicans or Falcons. You're going to want to protect those guys. So you're going to 360 around it and pull security. Go through that too. So when you come out of the vehicle there. or vehicle stops or you're in an aviation vehicle and you're unloading in the a combat somewhere. area, you you're going to get out of the vehicle and you're going to be pulling security around it, which yeah. we're going to do in a minute. 
Sweet. Houston, can you spawn in a uh, Falcon and a Pelican somewhere here on the airfield so we can train with that later on, uh, yep. right after this? Channel switched. I got that. Space northbound. So let's go. <coughs> We're going to move on a line formation. Um, I'm just basically nope, nope, nope. Stay in a line. Sorry. Correction. Um. Stay in the line that you were just in. Single column. Single column. Waiting. There you go. So we're going to go ahead and move in this formation. User left control. your channel. So I'm going to say stepping. Everybody User else joined your channel. Down the line so everybody else back there can hear it. Understood? Yes? Hi, Gunny. Yes, sir. Hi, okay. Gunny. Remember, any information that is uh, passed down from the fire team, or sorry, any information that is said needs to be passed down from the fire team. Okay? So here we go. Join the line. Stepping, move. Stepping. Lost your mic. Stepping. Okay, hopefully you guys remember what hiking pace is. I don't know what that is. I'm working on getting better over that too. Okay. All right, keep moving. You should. There you go. Wells tried doing control C. There you go. Okay. That's hiking pace. This way you guys keep stamina as you're moving forward. Uh, Nathan, double tap C or try control C. There, there you go. go. <laughs> okay. Alright, fire team halt, pull security. So that means you get down, stop where you are, dead in your tracks. You stop, you pick a kill zone. Find somewhere to look, and you stay there. You keep looking in that direction. If someone's already, sorry, yeah. If someone's already looking in that direction, you pick another kill zone. You don't want to be having two people overlapping their kill zones, one fucking spot. You need to make sure you're covering Watch all God, areas great. of approach. The only time we are not pulling security is when we are on base, or actually, no. That's the only. Fucking occasion when we're posting when we're on fucking base. That's the only time you need to be pulling security. Does anybody have any questions so far? No, okay, Gunny. Okay. okay. Now this is a good time for me to teach you some military terminology while we're here. So let's say, for instance, as we are pulling security, we see contacts. You need to know how to call out those contacts effectively without saying, "Oh, contacts in front of me." Oh, contacts to the left. I'm going to be rather frank with you, those are some extremely shitty ass call outs and you should never do it. When you are calling contacts, you always use what is called your three D's. Your direction, description, sorry, your direction, your distance, and description of your targets. Call direction of your targets. You could take out your compass or you can use the uh, clock, uh, military clock cannon which is contacts at my 2 o'clock, contacts at my 3 o'clock, blah, 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 like that. Or you can use your compass, which is contacts to the east, bearing 80. Do that. Then you're going to want to give a rough direction, or sorry, rough distance of the targets if possible. So let's say contacts are 50 meters or closer, or contacts are 120 meters out, blah, blah, blah. If you say contacts are 50 meters or closer, you should already know what to do, which is to be aggressive at the targets and push towards them. Like, like throwing fragmentation grenades and shit like that. Uh, Bearing 78. And then last but not least On is time. making a description of your target. So it could Odious. be civilians with guns. Could be a rabbit with an arm rocket on it. Who fucking knows? Happens. It make happens. Sure, make sure you make a description of your targets. That way the people around you know what you are seeing. And in case if it's a really fucking shitty situation, like, oh, well, there's a goddamn tank approaching our position. Well, you better get a fucking 0345 on that, or sorry, 0351 on that son of a bitch. That's high priority targets right there, so make sure you call that shit out. So, remember your 3Ds. Wells, what is your 3Ds? <clears throat> Excellent. Nathan, what's your 3Ds? Someone's not paying attention. Kirk, what's your 3Ds? Uh, direction, description... Uh, direction, description, distance. Distance. Direction, distance, and description of your target. But close enough. 
All right, so next up, military terminology, is your ACE check. ACE check is rather simple but very important to a fire team. ACE check is only utilized after an engagement has uh, been concluded. ACE check means, and is an acronym in case you couldn't tell, is ammo, casualties, and equipment. You want to make sure to check your personal self for your ammo, if anybody around you is injured, and if an equipment on your personal self has been uh, damaged, such as your helmet, your weapon, uh, and your rocket, which can happen. If you get shot in the head by a high caliber weapon, your helmet does tend to break, we'll including explode. your NVGs and other things of that nature. That's happened to me a lot. So, um, Your fire team leader will call for ace check, so you'll check your shit. You'll pass it down the line, and your fire team leader will conclude if we need more, if your fire team needs more ammo, uh, if they need to Cassie vac anybody, or if they just simply need more equipment to get the job done. That is the purpose of an ace check. Nathan, what's ace check? Wow. I, you see, I'm literally a goldfish. I what? remember this, and I've been repeating it the entire time. <laughs> oh, you're the three second memory of a fish. Got you. Okay. <laughs> Ammo, casualties, and equipment. Kurt, what's your ace check? Ammo, casualties, and equipment. Excellent. Wells, what's your three Ds? Direction, distance, description. Nathan, what's your ace check? Ammo. Oh, come. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the second one casualties. is Red Mercer. Casualties. <laughs> Ammo, casualties, and equipment. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Whew. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put that into practice. So this is what's going to happen. Everybody up. We're going to start moving northeast now. So, Kirk, you're going to be leading the fire team. So go ahead and start moving. Stepping. 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 A bit east, but... uh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's east, but whatever. It's okay. Just bearings and all that. Make sure you guys are in hiking pace so you don't lose stamina. Also, you guys, once you graduate and get to private, you will be pretty much required to carry uh, HUD glasses or an HUD eyepiece. HUD eyepiece has bearing numbers built right into it, so I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be too stressed about direction calling out. Uh, by calling up your compass, because it will be on the left side or on the right side, depending on what you use. Our team hold. Full security. Okay, let's try. Oh, I can't do that. All right. Do you need it? Okay, that doesn't work for some reason, but okay. All right, I got contacts uh, southeast bearing 140, 150 meters out, uh, two civilians on top of the hill. Go ahead, engage targets, get on the line. Get on the line, southeast. On the line, get on the line. Move up. Move up. Don't turn, don't turn back. Move up. Nathan, move up. Get on the line. There you go, keep, keep up on the target. All right, buddy, keep Buddy team rush, pick a buddy, buddy team rush. Nathan, move. Kirk, you move first. Push up. Well, move up. Kirk, you guys can use the radios if Set. you can't hear each other. <laughs> Moving Set. up. Push. Consolidate on the furthest man. Consolidate. Reload. While you're walking, reload. Ceasefire, ceasefire. Ace check. The spade, green. Well, it's green, green, green. Everybody else, green, green, green. Green, green. Everyone? Okay. So everybody listen up. This is what we're going to do now. We're going to pretend we're in a combat situation. If I tap you on the shoulder and say you're hit, you're going to get down. The purpose of this is that your buddy should be looking out for you. So if you're going to scream, oh, I'm hit, I'm hit. Buddy is going to come back. He's going to be covering you. He's going to be calling for Corman. You do not want to heal someone while you're in the middle of an open terrain while under fire. Your job is to wait for the Corman to come up, 
your position and drag away your buddy as you are covering him. Does everybody acknowledge this? Hey, Gunny, when you call Let me get Gunny. Drake over here. When you call yep. a corpsman, please remember that you Drake, say you over your here name or the person's name who is injured. So, uh, basically, because if they don't know who they're hit, looking for, they will not be able to come to you. Uh, you need to wait until they call for a corpsman for their buddy, then you're going to come up. You're going to drag the guy back as far as you can while their buddy is covering you. I okay? can drag him if they're actually injured. Okay. Pre pretend you're dragging. <laughs> okay. Just shoot me. Just, right. just do that. Just have him crouch there and then go. you can just walk over and shit like that back to our line, okay? All right. You can, Benny, you can just over. shoot Excellent. me. It's okay. It's not like I right. haven't been blown up once today. Uh, oh, yeah. That's, that is true. Okay, so I got contacts to the south here in 180. Get on a line to face the contacts and prepare to fire. All right, buddy, team rush. Get aggressive. Go ahead, Kirk. You move. Kirk, Kirk move, move first. first. Moving. Moving. Set. Pushing. Set. 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 Moving. Reload. Call for a corpsman. Come on, call for that corpsman. Consolidate. Consolidate, consolidate. Ceasefire, ceasefire. I got it. Ace check. Green, green, green. The spade green. Also, you guys may want to call your names before you say green, because if uh, you're yellow or you're red, times one casualty. If you're yellow or you're red, you're going to want him to know who it is that needs ammo or who it is that has a casualty, etc. Back up to the line. Okay, so everybody about face, face the north. We're going to do that one more time. Also, for some reason, I'm going deaf. Purple. Get Drake out of the line of fire. Drake, need you to get out of the line of fire. Oh, funny. You go back there. We're going in the direction you're moving, or you're standing. Okay. Here we go. All right, you got contacts. Mercer, I'm on streak, by the way. Northwest 320 of our current pause. Need you guys to get online. Contacts, Northwest, 320, get online. Relay that information to everybody Contact else. Come on. 320. Contacts are moving westbound. Move. Need you guys to rebound to the left. I didn't say buddy team rush. I said get on a line. Consolidate, consolidate. Move up to the person who's up the front. Consolidate. Contacts are shifting southwest. Rebound to the left. Rebound to the left. The spade. Get behind the formation and go to the left side. Moving. Set. Corman, I need Corman. Corman on Nathan. You cover him, I'll cover him. Yes, I am Corman. Ceasefire, ceasefire. Ace check. <clears throat> Nathan's down. Green. The spade green. Well, it's green, one casualty. Green. Roger that. Okay, so does everybody understand why you go through these drills? 
Hi, Gunny. Hi, Gunny. Okay, so now that that's over with, uh, I don't really think I need to go over anything else time except for urban combat, which I can just tell you verbally. So everybody's